Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Raquel Annette. If this is your first time here, thank you for clicking on the video. I'm happy that you're here. Today we are going to be reviewing a brand new collaboration that I'm super geeked about. This is Vanessa X Juvia's Place. Yes, win-win all around. Vanessa is literally one of my favorite influencers. I really love her work. It is quality. It's not this iPhone quality, I mean they really take their time out to edit and just push forth the best of the best content and they really really set the bar. So when I saw that Juvia's Place and her collaborated I was like I definitely have to get this because Vanessa is is prime influencer if that is a thing if you know what I mean. So, so if you want to see how I created this look, how these shadows and lip glosses performed, you're more than welcome to continue on watching. Don't forget to hang around until the end of the video for a giveaway. All right, we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. Here is a six pan shadow and we have extra which is it's a goldish it's a very gold metallic -y shade perfectionist is a dual chrome um, it's pink and it's a pink chrome we have BSG which is a chocolate brown busy which is a nudie peach matte shade stush is a coral reddish shade and then Akua is a wine shade so there's a lot of things that you could do with this palette with just sh six shades and you could also use it on your other parts of your face so so that is the palette and then for the lip glosses we have legit nude which is legitly a nude shade uh, very pretty has a lemony vanilla scent to it and then Naomi is a very pinkish just a really pink lip gloss so these are going to look good on you no matter who you are really love the choices I really love that you can play this up all right guys so we're just gonna go ahead and dive right in I've already done my base and my brows off camera and I also did take the concealer onto my eyelid so it's just a concealer that's my color so it is already primed and we're gonna go ahead and start digging into some of these shades so I love this cute little compact palette you guys I can definitely see me taking this everywhere because every time I go on vacation these literally are the colors that I'm going to steer towards sometimes like I like to go for turquoise because you know turquoise or Tiffany's blue is my favorite shade or like yellows but that's usually like a gold but this is so small cute and compact I just feel like I can take this everywhere with me only thing is it doesn't have a mirror unfortunately that's just my thing I love mirrors so I can just have it all on the go I like to travel well before COVID I was on out of town on consistent flights y'all for real like I really love traveling so you know that's the only little thing I can say about it but we're not gonna be anal I do. and uh, we're gonna go ahead and dig into stush now stush is like a coral shade and I'm just gonna start putting that into my crease and I'm using my Hank and Henry Bianca brush we all know that Juvia's Place shadows definitely packed punch when it comes to pigment that is literally like their signature real like reddish coral shade it looks orange in the palette but when you start to blend it out it becomes like a reddish coral which I know is going to look beautiful in so many different skin types like if you're super deep this is going to look beautiful and if you have blue eyes oh it's just gonna look really beautiful so it's really universal for everyone and I really like that about Juvia's Place that they not only include everyone they do bring light to black and brown influencers and they really really give them a chance to express themselves and give them a collaboration opportunity it's still so so far and few when you see um, a black influencer with a big brand collaboration it just it's not happening fast enough for me I don't know what's going on so you know when I see stuff like this I have to jump run and jump and get on the bandwagon because you know a win for her is a win for us and we need to really support each other regardless period with the T so that blended out beautifully on my lid now we're gonna go ahead and dig into BSG which is a chocolate brown shade these two really blended out beautifully so beautifully I don't know if Juvia's Place has reformulated I don't know what has happened but these are blending out like high-end 
shadows, honestly. They're blending by themselves. I didn't really do too much and you can see the gradients. All right, so we're all blended and I did use that same brush by Hank and Henry Beauty, which is such a beautiful, like, it blended the shadows perfectly. This is the Bianca brush in the set. So next, with the same concealer, I used the Makeup Forever. This is the Matte Velvet Skin, which is almost out. I love this stuff. And they didn't have my Juvie's Place shade at any of the Ulta's near me, so I couldn't use Juvie's Place, unfortunately. Um, but I'm going to be using this just to cut my crease. I'm going to halfway cut the crease, not all the way. So just a little bit at the beginning of the eye. And I'll be using my Hank and Henry Angelica brush to do that. All right, so the crease is all cut. And now I'm gonna pick up that nude shade in the palette, it's just pretty. This is like the nude shade that I always like to put on my lid. It just looks really, really pretty on me, my skin tone, I think. <laughs> um, it's called Busy, it's really, really, really pretty. That is like, I thought that Huda Beauty had, was like the only one with that color, but it looks like Juvia's Plays duped it in this palette, so that makes me happy. We're gonna go ahead and use that same brush that we used to cut the crease. So this isn't the, a dupe for the Huda Beauty shade that I was talking about. This one is a little bit deeper and more pink. The one that I was referencing to is a little bit lighter and more peachy nude. That's why you always have to test stuff out because it may look one way in the pan and it's probably different while it's under the lid. So I'm just going to finish up placing this down. It's still a beautiful color. I still do like it on my lid. Now going back in with BSG, I'm just going to take that into Busy and unto the outer part of my waterline. Not my waterline, unto the outer part of my line. So it's gonna be right here, and then I'm going to blend it into Busy. Pretty. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and dust the excess powder off my face. Now taking this Hank and Henry Drip Brush, it's like a flush, fluffy horizontal brush, which I really, really like. I'm going to mix Stush and BSG underneath my waterline. All right, so picking up the brand new Hank and Henry Stick With It in Blickety Brown, I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes because this is a very soft look. I feel like you could wear this every day. I don't want it to be too dramatic with a black liner, so we're just gonna go ahead and take this brown liner. Boom. So brown liner does a lot more than you would think. It is really good on brown skin girls. I know you guys probably think that you always have to do a black liner, but brown does just enough, I promise. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. I'm gonna use this Lori, Laura Mercier. This is their Caviar Volume Mascara, and this is in the shade Glossy Black. Here's the wand. and I really want to make my eye really wide. I didn't line it or anything, but I just want a very full bottom lash. Now I'll be bronzing my face with the Glamour Bronze in the shade Leader. All right, so picking up this Hank and Henry, this is their Natalie brush, and this is like a wider one of the Blitz brush, but I like this for a blush. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Stush and mix, mix it with Aqua. So we're just gonna mix these two together for a blush and see what happens. She's pigmented. Really pretty combination though. We got the orange and we got the wine, and it's really, really pretty on brown skin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my Laura Mercier. This is the Indiscretion. This is such a beautiful highlighter. So I went 
ahead and popped on some lashes. They're the Ilore lashes. They're called Marquise. This is the Cola Lip Liner by Juvia's Place, and it's just a brown liner. All right, so we're all lined. Usually, I'll put a lipstick on, but I really just wanna show you guys what these lip glosses perform as. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take Legit Nude. I really, really like that one. I wanna see how that performs. This is so pretty. And it smells just like the other Juvia's Places lip glosses. If you don't know, it smells like a cupcake. like a lemon cupcake. Coldly spray just to freshen everything up. Mmm, smells so good. All right, boom, that is the finished look that we have here. Again, a huge congratulations to Vanessa. And thank you, Juvia's Place, for giving us another collaboration with a black content creator. It gives us hope. You know, it's rare and few, again, that we, we see this. So I'm excited to see this again in, in my time. And not only is it a black influencer, but it's also quality, quality stuff. So guys, there is also some good news. There is going to be a giveaway. I just really, really want to stand Vanessa and Juvia's Place. I just want to make as much buzz as I could possibly be, okay? So, if you want to win this bundle set, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below on your thoughts on this collection and why you would want to win it, and I will be checking all of those things and you can be entered to win this bundle set. This is going to be open for one week. I'll have the winner announced here on Sunday, so stay tuned for that. I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me, watching me play with this bomb makeup bundle. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps me more than you know. And I'll see you guys here in my next video. Bye.